Welcome to another episode of Pistons of Fury. In this episode, we're taking a little bit of a detour and rebuilding the alternator on our LS swap on the cheap. Okay, so basically what I'm doing here is um, instead of getting a new alternator, which is like $170, um, I'm just going to refinish this one. I can't, actually I, I just, I've taken this halfway apart and I don't want to take it apart anymore. So basically just done my best to clean this up, um, short of media blasting. And we're going to use this again, Duplicolor Paint Shop. Um, this is a primer, so I'm going to give it a coat of primer. Uh, I've got a little foam brush here to not get everything all, all full of paint. And then we'll come through and just do a silver on top of this so it'll look OEM. Um, only reason I'm doing this is because the way I have my um, front mount or accessory drive set up is this is mounted high like in the typical truck installation. So it's just line of sight and I don't want to put a dirty alternator up there. So that's what we're doing. We're going to use this. Uh, hopefully this foam brush doesn't have an issue with this automotive paint. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get a coat of primer on here and then we'll come back and do a coat of silver on both halves and we should be good. All right, so update time. Um, <laughs> we've basically been uh, taking this apart, trying to get this cleaned and painted. This is the alternator. And this has turned into a little bit of an alternator rebuild project. So this right here is the voltage regulator. So if your alternator ever goes, pro tip, um, it's most likely this little piece right here, which you can actually buy separately. So I actually bought this as part of a, um, basically a rebuild kit. So this is from, a vendor called Maniac Electric Motors, and it's a Tadatel replacement part. So the original one is this Bosch guy. Um, this is the replacement, probably Chinese or Korean or Taiwan uh, replacement. I probably could have gone for this, but I think this costs close to as much as a new alternator. So anyway, in my infinite wisdom when trying to reinstall this, um, there's basically a spindle inside of here that fits in this and I actually snapped off one of my brushes in my alternator. So if you ever hear of a brush in an alternator, it's these guys here. They're spring loaded. Um, it's like a highly conductive material. It's almost like a, a cast copper. Um, it kind of breaks off very easily. So be careful. Um, so anyway, we are reassembling the alternator, putting a new voltage regulator in. So I'm basically rebuilding the thing because the, nothing else really goes bad with these. It's all just solid metal parts and windings. Um, so this is, this should actually give me another 100, 200,000 miles on the alternator, which is cool. Um, and this was 50 bucks, this rebuild kit, and it actually comes with a couple new parts, which I'm not going to need. New bearings, if you want to replace the bearings, but these bearings feel, feel great, so I'm going to leave them in there. Um, yeah, so just going to start reassembling the alternator. <laughs> 